what I got here is a pajama gram uh, catalog. Catalog, I guess you would say. Yeah, Josh. I don't want to badmouth pajama gram because there is a, a possibility sometime in the future. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Who knows? one day. You know, comes around to Mother's Day, Valentine's <laughs> Day. We could be sponsors for pajama you know, gram. You know I don't know. Before we get into the, people who do sponsor. Pajama Gram, mm-hmm. some of the shows that I listen to or yeah. sometimes don't listen to, but I wind up hearing the commercials. They they make it um, kind of it's kind of like, yeah, get your wife a pajama gram for Christmas. Yeah, that could be a gift for you and her. Imagine opening that present. Ugh, <sighs> what? The the hoodie footy, Josh. The hoodie footy. That, that's in here, real quick. Let me just. Let me just thumb to that and find that. Oh, isn't that sexy, Josh? The hoodie footy. Oh, it's just so sexy. Um, well, you know what? I don't want to say it isn't. <laughs> but it's not the uh, pajamas that are sexy. Yeah. Well, the reason I brought this here, Josh, was I was... This, was, this didn't come to my house. This came to Mimi's house. Mm-hmm. And I was thumbing through it, Josh. And it dawned on me <clears throat> that this right here... Is the history of a man's relationship. <laughs> okay. All right. This here, <clears throat> as you thumb through it. This is married life. Or, yeah. or not, not even married this life. Is, this is a beginning. This is a man's, this is a guide for men on your on your female uh, significant other. Is it chronological? It kind of is, Josh. <laughs> okay. It kind of is. So we flip through, and as we start in the beginning, Josh, we get to these... Sort of cute PJs, low cut type uh, pajamas, tank tops, some shorts, leopard prints, little hearts on them. You know, kind of cute, kind of fun mm-hmm. uh, type of stuff. You know, flannel PJs that are like a that are just like an oversized shirt. Shows yeah. a little leg. It's kind of it's kind of hot. Yeah, you know, a little sexiness to it. Um, and again, some lacy PJs. Yeah. they've got some some nice stuff it's a to it. Spiced up now. And then, Josh, I turn the page. Oh, no, she's pregnant. <laughs> Here we are, Josh. She's got pregnant PJs. So we go from the attractive, uh, fun, you know, I like to play around PJs to now uh, you, you, your pregnant wife can wear these comfortable PJs. Yeah. Wait, right? Well, I want her to have comfortable PJs. Yeah. She's pregnant. She's carrying my child, Josh. Yeah. She's doing a lot of work there. But now you've introduced comfort into the... Well, that's yeah. So we go, we go pregnant PJs, Josh. Then next step is you have kids, Josh. Uh-huh. Once you have kids, PJs are only good for one thing, and that's for you to match as a family, Josh. <laughs> no longer are sexy PJs in your repertoire. Yeah. You now all wear the exact same PJs. <laughs> no difference between boy, girl, mom, dad. Mom wears dad PJs. Dad wears mom PJs, Josh. <laughs> and we all have good fun because they have cute little sayings and they somewhat match. And it just goes on and on with, oh, super dad, super mom, you know, PJs. Uh, they match. Uh, dad's got his flannels. There's uh, some more matching PJs. I know there's like six or seven pages of just matching PJs, Josh. Yeah. Then we get into... They put young ladies in these things, mm-hmm. but I really know what's going on. Here, Josh. <laughs> these silky nighties. They're not silk. What is that material? It's uh, <clears throat> poly- it's not a polyester, is it? What is that called? It's not velvet. Is that slippery kind of? Yeah. So you slide around in your sheets when you're asleep. And you're yeah, like- this slippery like business suit type <laughs> respectable pants suit that you know. Uh, your wife used to wear to work, and she now wears to bed <laughs> with her easy to manage hairdo. Um, so we basically go, you know, down to. Then they throw the hoodie footy in there because that's their little thing. But I thought this was interesting that it, you know. Uh, and then this is, I guess, when you have your affair, you go back to having <laughs> cute, cute PJs, Josh, with little hidden messages that that would be fun. What once, yeah. one time. Uh, after a while, like, all right, stop it. So I, f- I found that interesting. That's the history of man right there, Josh, in the pajama gram catalog. Wow. So uh, for you uh, soon-to-be dads, new dads, soon-to-be husbands, 
Those of you thinking of getting married, pick you up a pajama gram <laughs> uh, catalog there and give it a little thumb through. Yeah, and if you go, uh, go to pajama gram, enter in uh, dad bros in the promo code, it won't do anything for you, but just let them know. <laughs> Maybe maybe if enough people enter in dad bros in the promo code yeah. it doesn't work. They'll or, be like, why do why do people keep entering this in? Maybe tweet them or 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 send them a little email and just say, yeah, I heard about you guys on uh, on Dad Bro Show. 